Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Whoa! Check out this little doozy. Good morning to all and to all a very very good morning I am in Highland California adjacent to San Bernardino checking out some abandoned places around here and I came across one I heard a noise over here so I'm probably gonna blur out the logo but that is a uh, code enforcement worker right there and he gave me some uh we we, <laughs> we shared some homeless encounter experiences at these places that i go to because he goes to a lot himself you know working for the uh county of san bernardino and i was literally driving down the street and i just uh i just found this there's also another trailer here let's go let's go peek in this one right here Hello. Hello. Oh yeah. Looks and smells abandoned. Huh. There's just a random uh, kick drum and a snare drum right there. Oh, these are a trip. Look at these. Kind of spooky. So, hello. Holy crap. Make sure the floor is okay holy crap oh yeah nobody's cooking in here anytime soon I'll tell you that so luckily the code enforcement guy right there luckily he uh it's pretty cool told me to go ahead and check it out that he had already chased out all the homeless oh my god just look at that floor you guys I should be very, very careful. This is really the only way in through this side, but I don't know if you've ever walked on wood that feels like mush. That's what this whole place feels like, just mush. What kind of channel would this be if I didn't go in, right? Wow. As a matter of fact, what kind of urban explorers go to locations and don't walk in? I've seen a few of them around. That's weird. Okay. I'm going to attempt to walk on here. If I fall, you guys will know. That's pretty solid right there. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm doing this. Dude, this floor is so freaking bad. I really want to get to one of these bathrooms to see if there's a sink or a toilet. Door's not even gonna open for me. Yeah. 
yeah, this place is just done. To be honest with you, if I was homeless, I don't even think I would sleep in here. I mean, if it was raining, maybe. Look, there's one little area of the roof that's not exposed to the sky. Maybe I would find a chair and just post up right there, but I would not sleep in here. The guy outside said that uh, he chased some homeless out of here just not too long ago. On a scale of one to 10, the floor in there, the mold and everything else is probably up there within the top top five that I've been to as far as the worst. It's just a small place, you know? Wow, all kinds of like weird donated goods. Gross. Oh, hell yeah. Looks like something out of the Brady Bunch. Dude, is that the old radio station? Oh my God. Check this out, you guys. I haven't seen one of these in ages. I'm gonna try to put the camera right there. You see that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bear with me. Right there. That's crazy. Ugh. I don't know what that is, but that's somebody's breakfast. Looks like oatmeal and soap. Huh, that's crazy. Look at the um, where the old chair was. It's the old seatbelt. That's crazy, bro. YouTube channel. That's two thousand dollars right there. Let me see. That's two thousand bucks. What's the year? Thirty-nine. Two thousand bucks, huh? Hi, bro. I'll see you. What you guys think about the footage? Yeah. So this is just a, a little bump there. This is just a little area of San Bernardino that you know has gone just south you know everybody knows the drill everybody from this state knows about the city they know about this area and um it's just really sad to to see it all go like this you know i mean don't get me wrong there's abandoned buildings all over the world you know overseas us the uk australia they're everywhere but there seems to be a a, a decent amount these are some kind of old projects. If anybody's from San Bernardino, which I know a lot of you from this area watch me, let me know what these were back in the day. To me, they look like projects. Can't be certain, but this is just another open little neighborhood. You see to the right here, they, they knock these down, but these are still standing. They look boarded up pretty, pretty good. I, I don't really think it would be worth trying to go in there. But yeah, comment below, anybody from this area. You know, this is just, uh, well, we got a homeless person here, wow. Wonder if she knows a way in. I wonder if that lady uh, had a way in. Very interesting, should I ask? You know, I had a video a while back about a motel that I did in San Bernardino. And I, I had mentioned briefly that, uh, you know, this, this area was tweaker haven. That's what I called it. A lot of people who enjoy meth. And, uh, man, I got a lot of backlash because of that. So, no offense to those of you um, when I make comments like that. But, I mean, in all fairness, what, what else are you supposed to call a meth user? You know, a meth user? They're referred to as tweakers. They're known as tweakers. They, they, they smoke it. They shoot it. They're up all hours of the night. They're not in their right mind. And they dwell in places like this and this. So, yeah, no offense to the city of San Bernardino. I know a lot of you got pissed. But that was uh, two years ago also. 
All right, North San Bernardino, way up the top of Waterman. I am past baseline. I don't get out to this part of San Bernardino much at all, or San Bernardino in general, but we have an abandoned medical facility right here. There's actually two or three of these complexes that are abandoned, and there's a lot of homeless people. I can guarantee you on this one, we, excuse me, oh, breakfast burrito. I can guarantee you we're gonna have a, an encounter right now. Let's see what happens. I was here yesterday. There was an opening right in the front and there was a plethora of homeless people. You see something's going on over there. But let's check it out. I'm already hearing this. It sounded like there was a generator on in there. So you got that side too. <clears throat> How you doing? And then you got these here too. However, it's not all abandoned. Around the corner there, there's lights on. It says, it says open. There's like a couple businesses, I'm assuming. But yeah, this whole little block from where I was at, pretty much where that bus is down there, all the way up to here, is somewhat abandoned. Let's walk up in there and see what happens. Private property. These are all pretty vacant. And that's the end of it over here. I just don't understand why these cars are here. Something's going on. It's just a dead end from where I seen. Oh, there's a door open down there. There's one open here. All boarded down. Nope. Thought that was open. Yeah, do you guys see how fast an abandoned place changes? Got some guys coming out over here. A place can change like that. I was here yesterday. It was all open. Now, the only side that seems to be occupied is where all those homeless people are at. I mean, it was a grit. No BS. I probably saw 10 homeless people. Let's walk past one more time and see if uh, one of them's friendly or wants to let us in. I want to see if they got any wheelchairs, any hospital beds, something worth taking an IG shot, you know, Instagram. What's up, little guy? What's up, buddy? What you up to? A little San Bernardino dog? It's a good boy, huh? Yeah. You homeless too, bud? You homeless too? That's too bad. Be safe. How you doing? Hey, can I ask you a question? Oh. 
Are these all abandoned right here? Okay, yeah. How you doing, bro? Hey, are these all abandoned right here? Now, I take pictures of old abandoned places. I'm, I don't work for nobody. I just, it's my thing. They're not abandoned? Okay, what about that last one? Yeah. Do you think they get crazy? Do you think they get crazy if I went in there? Got you, bro. So that's all on him. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. See, right away, people get real scared when they hear me talk because I don't talk like I'm from the barrio. They think I'm a cop. And then they see the camera. Sometimes I usually just have it right here, like a my shooter in my hand. They don't want nothing to do with me. It's all good, man. I'm not a... I'm not a cop. I'm not here to kick anybody out. I just want to take some photos and, and video. And I'm also not about to agitate the homeless. They can be very vicious. Very unpredictable. See, this was open yesterday. I don't know what happened. I guess when I had the chance yesterday, I should have just gone in. But there was, there was a lot. There was a lot of them. Yeah, that's so weird. There's like trailers and stuff back there. To me, that smells like the owner is allowing a caretaker to stay there. And the caretaker is probably letting his homies from the street. People, uh, he knows other homeless people live in there. So that's why it looks mixed. It looks like, you know, you see that trailer? Whenever I see a trailer like that in an abandoned place, that just smells like a caretaker to me based off of my experience. But what can you do? I got to get going. San Bernardino Highland, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.